OPEC plus nations meeting here in Riyadh over the weekend and resolving to extend production cuts as they seek to bolster a fragile oil market. Ministers also agree to begin bringing back some oil as early as October this year. Production curbs will continue in full in the third quarter and then be gradually phased out over the following 12 months. The agreement aims to keep supporting oil prices while also easing concerns of some members, such as the UAE, about continu continued restraints. Oil initially extended losses on the plan, with Brent dropping below $81 a barrel right now, as we spoke about, sitting at around 81 exactly. So let's bring in Anthony DePaul, our Middle East energy markets mm -hmm. reporter. Well, Anthony, you were very busy yesterday trying to piece together all of the information that we were getting from OPEC+. Plus. And I've got to say, the complexity of the existing cuts doesn't really add uh, to, to the market being able to piece together what we got from them. But it feels as though market participants are very much focused on what OPEC plus decided to do with those voluntary cuts. So talk us through that. Yeah, Giovanna, good morning. Uh, as you say, it was uh, complex and it wasn't an easy task for them because they did go in with such a complex set of, of uh, quotas and reductions uh, to deal with. As you said, there was that uh, group-wide cut that has been instituted for for a number of years now that's extended all the way through 2025. Uh, more or less the, the voluntary cuts with some, whereby some countries decided to reduce their production on a voluntary basis, those are, are, are largely extended uh, through next year. Uh, one level, though, is going to start being unwound at, at the end of the third quarter. So OPEC Plus will, will keep everything uh, intact as it is now through the third quarter. Uh, largely, analysts were expecting that the cuts would be extended through the end of the year. Uh, so, so, so some of that extent, extension was expected. But what is causing kind of that ambivalence in the market is that fourth quarter letting up, bringing some of that production back into the market as those countries try to gain back some share. Uh, and so that is what's causing some of that ambivalence. With some of the uh, analysts saying that that's that that's a bearish uh, impact, Jamal. Yeah, well, you know, there's one line I think that OPEC really wanted to emphasize, and that is the quote, subject to market conditions. They said that they will start winding down or phasing out those voluntary curbs as of Q3 or the end of Q3 of this year, but also subject to market conditions. So from my perspective, I read that as them still maintaining the flexibility not to continue with the phase out if they think that market conditions have changed. Well, one of the things that some of the ministers uh, stressed to us, uh, we spoke briefly with the uh, UAE minister, uh, Sohail Mazrui after the meeting, and the, the Saudi uh, energy minister, Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman. And, and both of them said that this idea is, is a, a plan to bring some balance to the market, keep, keep the balance currently that we have in the market, and give some kind of forward view as to what could happen with production. So we have that long forward view, but, but that real bit of flexibility whereby OPEC can come back in and decide to, to slow those cuts or to reverse some of those cuts. So we can see them reacting to market share. And what OPEC is really going to be watching uh, over these next couple of months is if they are able to pull down uh, the amount of oil in storage, those, those inventories, that's something that they really watch uh, because oil in storage can be a cap on the price. Uh, if prices go up too high, that oil comes out of storage, brings the price back down. So they want to make sure that that's uh, to a lower level. They're also really watching uh, this U.S. central bank inflation and interest rates because that makes oil price in dollars more expensive for a lot of developing countries. So those things they're really watching. They'll watch the summer uh, period, which is really a peak demand uh, period for users in the in the northern hemisphere, Europe and the U.S., to see if those inventories come down and give them a, a good situation going into the fourth quarter where they can start to add some of those barrels back. Uh, so that's really what they're going to be watching intensely uh, over this next quarter to see if they can continue with that plan as laid out yesterday, John. 